a bit of trivia for you guys. Uh, what do Chance the Rapper, Lady Gaga, The Rock, and Bashir Halaiki have in common? You guessed it, absolutely nothing. Uh, so just random talented people appeared with Bashir to hurt his feelings. Because... I was supposed to go hard on him on this roast, but I'm trying to like I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that he really needs this at this point, you know. I mean, you can tell by the way he's dressed that he has nothing to lose. And, like, why would the university drop out wear a college jacket? Like, it doesn't... Gentlemen, roaster number one coming through from this side of the room. Put your hands together for this guy. He 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 runs a YouTube channel called the Halaiki Network. He's also a co-host on the Kissing Honey podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the very funny Bashir Halaiki. Come on, guys, keep it going till he gets up. People, yeah. Welcome, welcome, man. Shit. Rosa number two, man, coming from that side of the room, man. This guy, he has a special on Showmax, man. He's done it all. He's been doing this stand-up thing for years. Put your hands together for my friend, Mr. George. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep it going, guys, till he gets on stage, ladies and gentlemen. Shit. It's going Mr. Jorge. Have a seat, man. So these are the guys that are going to be going at each other, man. You know, it looks... They kind of look alike. I think they're into the same barber. Two <laughs> box. Like, who knew us box in 20 freaking 23, man? What the heck is going on here? Shit. 2023, even Ludicrous is no longer on the poster. Box? He was still doing a box. No, Doug was here. You know, Doug actually had dreads back in the day. You, know, you, you never tell it. I don't know. But the balding overcame the dreads. So you had to just shave it off and just remain bald, man. What was all about bald guys? Are they just bald here? I might everywhere. Yeah, I'm I'm balding. Doug actually goes to the gym. <laughs> Like that's just a joke on its own, man. Doug at the gym, shit, man, damn. Doug is nodding at those jokes. But <laughs> delete that from the recording, okay? I don't want to lose my career options, man. Doug Mutai, man. <clears throat> no, but Doug is going fat and he knows it, man. He's, uh, he's gaining weight like a bitch. Normally takes his wife to try bars. You no, know, this will fit you too, eh? Babe, this bra. She's the same size as yours, huh? Just, uh, just, uh. But that is interesting. You know, you used to live in Bomet, then you went straight to Canada. So he has a Bomet Canadian accent. <laughs> <laughs> what the fizzy is that? Oh, shit. I am the, the guy doing the jokes. You must be George Zirango, oh, the heck is that? Is it you, George? Is it the guy you're with? Oh, George Zirango. But they shout out to George Zirango and celebrate in the building, Georgie. If you guys don't know, Georgie used to work for the BBC. And he also had a BBC. How do you think he got the job? She said, no, I'm qualified from this job. The white man was like, yeah, you're qualified, just... Uh, Alone, Larry Madow is already inside, so you're not gonna feel lonely, bro. <laughs> judge Dirango, man. Shout out to our other judge, David Masharia, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, guys, let's clap for this. Niggas, if you beat him long enough, he loses the accent. Check away, don't run your high away. Money, don't hit me like that, brother. <laughs> David Masharia, man. Um, but he's a, he's a good buddy of mine. <laughs> he's a good friend, David Masharia. Man. <clears throat> David Masharia actually has a full time job as a voiceover artist, you know. His works include Teletubbies, like, you know. He's a chicken. Hata! Hopa tata! Hopa tata! Hata! Hopa tata! Hata! 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 
here for my check, you know, just give me my check. No, I worked. I worked, man, you know, you gotta give me my check. I need my money. <laughs> I don't know you guys with accents. So what are you doing? Are you giving head? I need my check, bro. You know, just... Shit. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the sausage, which looks like it has an EVAD, ladies and gentlemen. George Wawero in the building. Looks like a sausage, and then the gas ran out. Mm. This sausage is not uh, brown enough. But anyway, just send it out there. We'll call it George. <laughs> George Wawero, man. <clears throat> I used to know George Wawero when he was actually employed. Guy lost his job, man. Shit. He used to order pork chops. And salad and chips half half. <laughs> <laughs> now he avoids pork chops and salad and chips half half, man. But he's actually a telecommunications engineer, you know. I know it because I was with him when he was printing the certificate on River Road. <laughs> <laughs> the, tele the telecommunication had one M. I'm like, shit, man, this thing has one M. You got Are you gonna present that to your employer? <laughs> Communication, man. <laughs> just, just let you going. Give it up for Bashir Halaiki, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, guys. What's up with the energy, man? Bashir Halaiki in the building. I know even you guys are asking yourself, who the fuck is that nigga? <laughs> you know, even me, I don't know him. <laughs> the watch guy is about to call Murko. I mean, check, there's some weird guys here. We don't know who they are, but he keeps saying, give it up for this guy. <laughs> I'll call you back. <laughs> Malcolm is buying shoes. Uh, no, but she is a, he's a brilliant guy. He's a very a funny comedian. You know, he's, uh, I don't even have jokes for him. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I do a podcast with Bashir. He said she shared with me something weird, you know. He says he shaves the box hairstyle everywhere. <laughs> I'm going for a roast. Just, uh, <laughs> Watch an in your box. I'm going for a roast. Ah, see, Jaka oil, moist. Let's oil this shit. <laughs> shit. All right, are you guys ready for these guys to go at each other? Yeah. Come on, guys. All the time I say something, some energy. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who do you want to start? Iki Piki Pong, Ki, Father Hada Dog, Ki, Doki Dai, Baraka, Iki Piki Pong, Ki! <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our first, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to give them a, a, a moment just to introduce themselves to each other. You know, we just see that it's all happening in love. We want love to flow over here like a nonsense. So, ladies and gentlemen, our roster number one, put your hands together for Mr. George. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right. What? Oh, you're coming close to me. So you go sit over there, bro. <laughs> I don't want to laugh like that. <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Emmanuel Kisiangani. Yeah. Emmanuel is uh, one of the only few comedians with an hour special on YouTube. Uh, yeah. So if you have time, please watch something else. Uh, there's... <laughs> Yeah, I was told this battle was going to be judged by a panel of my peers, and if this is it, I really need to improve my comedy. You guys, <laughs> a bunch of no names over here. <laughs> no, but um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I know you guys. Um, shut the fuck up. Uh, but I'm glad you guys took time off your open white schedule to be here. So anyway, you want to say something before we start? No, let's start, man. All right, okay, let's get it. Uh, first of all, Bashir is my brother. Nice to see you. Uh, looking good. I like to say the same. All right. <laughs> I see you. You went to the camouflage pants. What are you hiding from? Success. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, not much is known about my opponent over here, obviously. Uh, so. To prepare for this roast, I had to become his friend for the last five years. Bashir is a Muslim who drinks 
smokes, does not pray or fast. Bashir, admit it, you're a Christian. <laughs> Bashir has never made the pilgrimage to Mecca, but he's always stoned. <laughs> yeah. That was some hard truths, man. What are, are you guys doing? You guys good? Yeah, yeah man. You can tell that both me, George, and uh, Kisiangani have not shared today because our barber was not around. <laughs> so there's that. And uh, you can tell that my opponent had a present father by the fact that he ended up being mediocre. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. <laughs> I mean, considering I'm roasting the less famous George, what's up, Nirangu? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I'm saying this because my opponent has a history of quitting everything except drugs. You know. <laughs> he dropped out of engineering school. He quit his job after two months. I was supposed to go hard on him on this roast, but I'm trying to... Like I, I'm, I'm starting to think that he really needs this at this point, you know. I mean, you can tell by the way he's dressed that he has nothing to lose. I mean, <laughs> like, why would the university drop out wear a college jacket? Like, <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. Uh, Bashir is actually an aeronautical engineer by day and a comedian by low standards. Uh, both his jokes and the planes he services do not land. Uh, Bashir, what kind of aircraft do you work on? Let me guess, Boeing 747s. <laughs> like, I'm glad that for a change you did research, man. Like, that is amazing that you actually read something, but it's despite the point. But I mean, uh, I honestly don't understand why I need to roast this plus-sized light-skinned babe. I kind of feel like it's, un <laughs> it's very unfair. I mean, life has done its thing already. You know? <laughs> but I mean, you can't tell by his uh, medium-rare complexion. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. Once I'm finished with him, he'll be well done. <laughs> But we can all agree that my opponent hasn't skipped a meal in a while. <laughs> Would you like to show them? Yes. Take it uh, off. Take it off. Mostly because it includes skipping, you know, that is why he hasn't. Okay, we can skip that. <laughs> but when we were doing this roast, when we asked him that, you know, we were going to do a roast, you know, he replied by no, can I bring my own kachumbari, you know, like I have my own special mix and everything, you know. But as a friend, you know, I told my opponent that he needs to watch his weight. Which is why I know he'll do it seated on a couch eating a bag of chips, you know. Just like the helicopter you saw, that job did not take off. <laughs> <laughs> Mashir is the co-host of the Kisiangani podcast and... Uh, He's the glue that holds the podcast together and prevents it from taking off. Uh, he's also a regular feature on the, pod, uh, on the sandwich podcast, which ironically is what they pay him in. That's amazing, man. I'm getting my opponent reading my achievements, man. I, I wish I could say the same about you, man. Like, <laughs> So what's up guys, welcome to uh, George and uh, Basit Halaiki podcast, you know, this is our first episode, you know, this is, <laughs> it's hard to be doing this and all that. But my opponent uh, prides himself on his resemblance to Trio Mio, you know, <laughs> you know, he's done this joke a while, you guys, you guys can see it, which is accurate, I mean, you have to agree, only that if we are being truthful, we'd call him Double Mio, <laughs> and the missing Mio is talent, so... <laughs> But also, if, if you are an old school and you're watching TV for a long time, you'd see that my opponent also resembles OJ from Tidy High. You guys see that? Yeah. And just like OJ, he also picked in high school. So. <laughs> Go!
round of applause. Give it up for round one, ladies and gentlemen. Bashir is on the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but who am I to tell? Judges, uh, it is time for you guys to... We want to know who won round one, okay? So first I'm going to ask the judges, and then, uh, you know, maybe I'll ask you guys. You never know. But uh, let's start with Mr. Uh, David Masharia, man. On round one, who do you think took this? Yeah, that was, that was a fun round. I liked... I like George more that round. All right. I think he brought it harder. Harder. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's bringing his bedroom talk over here to the roast. So can I just hit it harder? You know, it's harder. Should I do it a bit harder? All right, harder. Go ahead. Dude, I'm glad. I'm glad to see how much you're killing. I don't know if you guys know. Emmanuel hasn't written a new joke since Fuel was 150 shillings. <laughs> This is a rare sighting for you non-comedy fans. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm giving this round to George. All right, George. All right, all right. All right, Doug Matang. All right, yeah. Uh, you guys are right. It was a fire round. Very good. Thanks, Kisiangani, for all the roast. I didn't know we were going to be getting roasted as the judges. Um, uh, so shut this shit down. <laughs> I'm shutting this down. But, but I, I feel like I gotta reciprocate to Kisangani. Kisangani is doing a great job. First of all, thank you for hosting, and you are also there. Yeah. He's yeah also no, you guys can clap, man. You can clap, clap for me. He's <laughs> doing amazing. This guy is so ambitious. You know, when we started Stand Up Collective, he's comedian number one. He started here. And halfway, he started his own podcast, and he said, I have to get a really good name for it. And he called it the Kinsiangani Podcast under the Kinsiangani Network, <laughs> which inspired the Halaiki Network. <laughs> uh, but this round, I'm going to give it to George. All right, shit. I'm with you, my brother. <laughs> Right. Okay, it's fine. If you need, do you need me to veto that vote? Well, at least we have a podcast, man. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> We're going to talk about this on our podcast. We're going to talk about it. Because <laughs> once we did a podcast and Bashir had to spend the night over because it was a bit late, you know. So I was like, is it normal, like, masturbating and mourning at the same time? Like, I'm like, shit, Bashir. Check it. Hey, Bashir, I can hear you, bro. Stop making those sounds. Man. You're also watching, I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you have a mic. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to go to round two. What about you guys? What do you guys sure, think? Sure, uh, sure, Bashir, sure. Let, let's do a very quick one. George Raiwe, round one. <laughs> Bashir Haleki, round one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like Raila, the people's president. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Bashir has come with his own paid audience, so we're going to do another round <laughs> to see if you guys are for real, all right? So we're going to do another more intense one. Okay, I'm just going to sit there and enjoy, but we're going to give them some time just to go at each other for a couple of, you know, a longer time than we did earlier. So ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for round two? Yeah. All right, let's go. This time we're going to start with you, Bashir. Let's do this, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. How are you guys doing? You guys good? And welcome to the second round of the Rose. Give it up for Emmanuel Kisiangani doing an amazing job. Yeah, man. So uh, my opponent's name, you know, his stage name is Chinese, which is uh, a play on his resemblance to a Chinese man. Yeah, I know you can't see it. It's that small. <laughs> But I mean, he will always be a reminder of uh, our time, like our international day to the Chinese people. I mean, this is what would have happened if the, Chinese, if the SDR was built 30 years ago. You know, this is the... the <laughs> <laughs> My opponent is actually an amazing comedian. He's traveling to do a show in Uganda. Give it up for him, man. He's actually... Yeah, he'll be walking there. He'll be doing great things. <laughs> and one of the conditions for him to go and perform in Uganda is if he just decides to leave all his anal beads and heels in Kenya, you know, just for his safety, you know, just to make sure. You know. you know, that is the first instance where I guess isn't allowed to live at their own pleasure and leisure. You know, it was just you. Yeah. 
Okay. You guys are still gonna vote for me. I'm not going to vote. Right? <laughs> I feel like I'm losing you. My opponent is actually an amazing chess player, you know, which is why I know that, like, he has to see three moves ahead of his opponent, which is why I don't need to do all my jokes for him to see that he has lost. <laughs> okay, better. Checkmate. <laughs> My opponent has a Chelsea tattoo on his back. <laughs> Do you want to show them, Mama? But you guys, I, I, I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> he was there. He was there. A research. <laughs> Which just goes to show that you can't always leave your mistakes behind. You know, sometimes you have to live with them. <laughs> I, I'm also a Chelsea fan, so this was a, a self-frost on all of us. My opponent has been called gay for a lot of reasons, mostly because he's light skin. And I mean, he didn't help that at the time he was he was actually working for Airtel. So I mean, you know, seemed to. <laughs> but finally, <laughs> takes a sip. I mean. <laughs> is acknowledging it just to clear the throat man but because of his glasses my opponent looks intelligent <laughs> and uh, you learn that he's not once he opens his mouth and talks but I mean I forgive you guys I mean I understand that light, light travels faster than sound so yes. yeah that is my time thank you guys that's my submission all right uh, I did my research for this roast. So Bashir is actually an Arabic name that translates to God increases. Uh, and Yusuf is also another name that means my suffering. <laughs> Bashir has a YouTube show called uh, Cooking on Broke. And if you haven't seen it, congratulations. You have good taste. <laughs> the show, as the name suggests, uh, is about cooking affordable meals. You know, what did you do? Film yourself eating dinner for the last two years. <laughs> I wonder what other names you passed, you know, you considered for the show. You know, dying on malnutrition. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea on broke. <laughs> Which one did you do? <laughs> A bit of trivia for you guys. Uh, what do Chance the Rapper, Lady Gaga, The Rock, and Bashir Halaiki have in common? You guessed it, absolutely nothing. Uh, <laughs> So just random talented people appeared with Bashir to hurt his feelings. Because... <laughs> I'm not saying Bashir is a womanizer, but he went into comedy because he had it's a largely untapped market. <laughs> Bashir has more access than a math textbook. Uh, this guy has also emceed a couple of birthday parties and on one occasion the birthday boy actually blew out the candles and wished for a better MC. <laughs> I will go ahead and read some of the reviews from some of the people who hired him. <laughs> Birthdays are supposed to celebrate the day I was born but the MC made me want to kill myself. <laughs> Would not recommend for anyone with a birthday. <laughs> why did this have to happen on my 13th? <laughs> it was my 13th reason why. <laughs> That's it for me. <laughs> Shit. Kisiani <laughs> podcast is not doing well. What the fuck is going on here? But Bashir, I still believe in you, my brother. And there's one more round, Ben. There's one more round. Yeah, which guys. is all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Just one round. <laughs> okay, we hate this nigga. <laughs> all right, round two. Uh, yeah, round two was uh, a bit brutal. Okay, you guys are being a bit more honest. Judges, this is all you want to keep. Harder guy. Yeah, man, I love, George got really creative with those reviews. He had, he got really meta with some of those jokes. I'm giving it to George, man. Oh, David man. is always giving it to George, man. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, David. Yeah, but sure, this isn't going to help you, bro. 
Shit. It's not even helping you either, man. Like, <laughs> okay, he's giving it to George Harder. <laughs> Harder, let's just do Harder. Harder. All right, uh, David Mashara gives it to George Harder. All George right, let's hear. <laughs> Doug Mutai, what are your, where's your vote going? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really torn at this one, actually. Uh, yeah, I am torn. Because, uh, first of all, I don't want these guys to hate me. I think they love Bashir. But on a point form, Bashir had two landings. George had three. Right. So I'm giving it to George again. Uh, I'm taking it a lot. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Who is giving it to me? All right, let's go back to the audience. Audience, what do you think? Uh, George Royal? <laughs> Bashir Halaeke? Yeah, the people's yeah, president. You didn't pay them enough. <laughs> I pay them for one round. <laughs> you guys are doing only one round of payment. You need to a break. You send some empesas. Yeah. We need a last round between ah, George and David, man. man. Head to head. Yeah, man. A harder round. <laughs> harder round. <laughs> All right. So far, so good, man. Married guy. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah. Is your wife enjoying that? Is a more important question. Oh, nice. I like that this guy is just drinking juice like he does that every Friday. <laughs> Or is it every Saturday? <laughs> yeah, it's humble. I need to take juice. Yeah, yeah, I just uh, juicy tacky alcohol now because my wife is here. The guys, are, my guys are so humble when they're with their wives. Eh? Just, uh, they talk with a very gentle voice. You hello. No, you go caribou, you come home. Yeah, yeah, just ten minutes. Ah, we are your wife. You come on the bridge. You go out. Now, see the inside. Shit. So we have one more round, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, hopefully these guys are gonna bring the heat. Okay, guys, we expect some more violence. Okay, Sidio, Sidio, guys. We are here for violence. We are here for war. This is Sparta. I'm going crazy now. What the heck is this? George is here with his BBC guests. They're like, who the fuck is that nigga making noise? Man? What the heck? <clears throat> Joji should just keep coming for shows, man. You know, just, when I'm bombing, I just do a Joji joke, then I'm back. <laughs> hey, I think that guy is coming. <laughs> I think he's getting it harder. <laughs> he's getting it harder. All right, guys, one more round, okay? Let's see how this one goes, okay? This one is just gonna be a back and forth, guys, okay? Feel free, okay? Take your time, just feel free. If you wanna stand, stand. If you wanna sit, sit. Just do your things. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go! Right. Uh, of course, today, I mean, you guys are here for violence, but I have to be careful not to hurt Bashir's feelings. Uh, I heard that a lot of his fans are in here tonight, and I don't think I can fight two guys. So I'm going. That's a lie. I've seen you take on five men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, part of the five was David and Doug, so I think you're losing too. <laughs> But I mean, my opponent is actually serious about losing weight. You know, he's serious about going to the gym. So serious that he actually posted a before picture. And this is a before, before picture, you know. This is, <laughs> this is how bad he's doing on his gym thing, man. Look amazing. But I mean, uh, he, he got into me about my YouTube channel. He also has a YouTube channel, you know, it's, it's called Laugh Life, where he does uh, vlogs, travel vlogs, you know, where he does his uh, travels and adventures. And I mean, he had to shut his YouTube channel down because of lack of travels and adventures. <laughs> All right. Um, Halaiki is multi-talented. He has also tried his hand at construction. Uh, some of the buildings he has been involved in include House of Letter and Sarit Center. Bash, just because your life has no direction doesn't mean everyone else has to get lost. I mean, for a prize, I can build you a career. Start with yours. 
<laughs> but I mean, uh, speaking of careers, my uh, my opponent actually quit his telecommunications engineering job so that he can focus full time on his career. Like, who knew saving a dead career is a full time job? You know, it <laughs> takes a lot. Uh, Bashir was once hired to perform comedy at a Gilby's Gin uh, sponsored event. And Gilby said they have never sold as much alcohol in a single event. People are staggering, vomiting, passing out, and this is just from Bashir's jokes. Uh, one guy got so drunk he even started to enjoy Bashir's act. <laughs> yeah, that's funny because it's actually true, man. <laughs> But I mean, George is so light-skinned that his white blood cells fight bacteria with love. So. <laughs> Checky gonorrhea, it doesn't have to be like this, you know? We can, we can just all be friends in here, you know? <laughs> I mean, look at him, Maze. He sits with the locks crest, you know, he's such a lady. When, uh... All right, uh, one thing you can't take away from this guy's comedy is his consistency. Bashir started from the bottom and he's still there. <laughs> Bashir has, has experienced more bombing than the Gaza Strip. And I, for one, think it is enough. Enough is enough. Yeah, I'm so glad that you decided to end all these jokes with jokes that are not yours. You know, just decided to bring up my old jokes. It's amazing, man. <laughs> I'll try a funny one for a change. <laughs> I think I'm done, man. I you know. <laughs> have one more. Uh, so, like I said, uh, you're multi-talented. Aviation, comedy, podcasting, construction. Is there anything Bashir will succeed at? Uh, Bashir's comedy has put more people to sleep than Bill Cosby. Guys, give it up for uh, George Waru, ladies and gentlemen. That was nice. Give it up for Bashir Alaiki. That was nice. We're not voting. We're just giving it up. That was uh, that was a bit brutal, man. Damn, man. Damn, shit, son. Bashir, how are you feeling? Are you sore? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm feeling kind of confident, man. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm feeling it too, man. Yes. You know? I feel like I've done an amazing job. Man. I tell you what we need to do. We just need a blackout here, and then when the leg comes back, you're the winner. Yeah. <laughs> you declare you the winner. I, be, I am now the winner of the friendly fire rose. And I'm married to one wife. <laughs> George. <laughs> Oh man, but I'm curious. I'm curious to hear what uh, the judges have to say. You guys, man, you guys have to be kind to these guys. You know, Bashir lost his dad, you know, a couple of years back. At a bus stop, dad was like, bye. <laughs> bye, Bashir. He's not seen him since, man. You know? So we need to give Bashir the pity votes. Okay, at least. And George is also doing so well, man. George was here with a whole full scalp. And he had references. I think that's how we have sex. You can insert penis, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pump, toys, okay. Check it turning the feet, okay. Okay, we the draw before you bust a nut. No, I kind of think that also David has a full scalp too, man. You know, he also needs instructions. <laughs> they have the instructions together. Yeah. Harder, <laughs> okay, harder. <laughs> harder. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. But you know, but, uh, George is actually going to Mombasa, no, not Mombasa, Uganda. He's going to Uganda next week to do some comedy. You know, that's why he's so prepared, man. You know, he said he's not gonna drink milk before going because it's homogenized. <laughs> I was also risking on that one. I didn't know if he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that one and see if it's gonna work. <laughs> Homogenized, the Nanela Uganda, homosexual Uganda. Do you need to explain these jokes? Yeah. That's how you know it's a good joke when you have to explain. <laughs> oh, for real, eh? Oh, you're explaining your set tonight? Oh, nice. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just fooling around. Let's go to the judges. David Masharia, you know, do you wanna tell us what you think? Man? Is this is this necessary anymore? 
Uh, no, we're, we're doing it for the recording. No, because yeah, George won the last two rounds. Yeah, we can count. Uh, yeah, he's he won this one too. Okay. <laughs> he's more prepared. All right. Funnier. Light skinner. <laughs> So you just tell this guy you're not sex with him. Like, what? He knows it. <laughs> what the fuck? This, this show is getting in the way of me and George's plans. So is this necessary? No, it's not right. Does, does Bashir need to hear how bad his set was anymore? <laughs> or can we get the fuck out of here? Let's hear what Doug Mutai says and then we're going to call Okay. Uh, I want to do a new approach this time. Uh, I find this a bit harder. <laughs> Uh, this round, actually, I will surprise you guys. I actually tallied again, but jo- uh, Bashir gave a lot of rebuttals to George's jokes. Yes, yeah. really strong. Yeah. Bashir was better off the script. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if <laughs> so, I can say if only he could write good jokes, <laughs> but. <laughs> But it really neutralized for me, it made me laugh harder <laughs> on the third round. So I'm giving it to Bashir the third round. Bashir, I like it! Third round! Thank you, gentlemen. You guys, Kiss Your Money podcast. Taking it home. Cooking on broke, bro. Yeah. Shit. Somebody make a deal to this nigga, man. In the All right. network. This is what we're going to do, man. We're going to yeah. go to the ultimate voter in the building, okay? The decider. Mm. The people who put their money on this show. Who did the show? Yeah. <laughs> The audience, okay? All right? Although, I don't know how this is going to go. So, we're going to start with this side. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are deciding the winner tonight. George Warren, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> the money guy is a bit enthusiastic. Come on, man. You guys don't have to be that brutal. Even this guy is clapping under the table. What the heck? Did you eat this guy's money? <laughs> this guy under the table, man. All right, let's see. Bashir, I still have. We might do this thing. We have hope. Man. We have hope. Sindio, you guy, you are good with the rebuttals, you guy. Huh? You guy, uh, off the script. Off the script, you guy. Off the the whole written shaban, you guy. So, ladies and gentlemen. The off the cuff guy. Creativity galore. Spontaneous. <laughs> what the fuck is going on at that table over there, you guy? Bashir must come here with his conquest. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. As the host, and uh, I was also a judge. Bashir, you're my guy, but the winner tonight is George Wawero, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I hate to say this, but he was more prepared. You know, more prepared. But uh, but Bashir, you're the people's champion, you guys. That's all that matters, man. That's what's in yeah. People's champion, eh? Yeah. People's champion, ah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for attending this show tonight. Have a very good night. Hang around. Have a drink. Uh, please follow us at Stand Up Collective for shows. We do shows here every weekend, okay? So, uh, this is our home ground here in Nairobi, our very own comedy cellar. So, we do this every week. So, follow us for more uh, shows. Shout out to the judges, David Masharia and uh, Doug Mutai. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, guys. And then also shout out to Chaco Cartel, which is uh, those gentlemen right there who, com- who are the brainchild of this concept. So thank you very much for sharing this beauty with us. And also give it up for your host, Imano Kisengani, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, the money guy. Thank you, uh, Nani. No comment. Uh, and there we go. So uh, have a very good night. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.